Hello, Simmers. I know a lot of you have the same problem that I did before. And uh, my main issue was, is going into the overhead panel and uh, being able to control all these switches and buttons up here. And, uh, you know, having one keyboard is not gonna do it. So the solution to, for that is having a second keyboard that will be, enable you to, you know, control all the switches, you know, such like if you take the APU lead, uh, if you're talking about the circulation packs, you know, and uh, even though here, The way to do that is programming a second keyboard, such as this one here, to do all these functions without affecting the first keyboard. So even though you press, for example, Y in the second keyboard, it will do a different function that what it's supposed to be doing in the first keyboard. This way, it'll enable you to control all these switches here without moving to a different screen. For example, if I want to go to a DC standby or battery, or even in the AC, if I want to go to Gen 1 or APU, all these have special keys that are programmed over here. And uh, I'm telling you this makes your life much easier than just uh, having one keyboard and moving from one screen to the other. The way to do that is a special software called HID Macros. It might need some programming skills, but I uh, try to attach uh, the XML file that you can just copy and paste it into the same directory where you have the HID Macros and uh, it will do all these functions for you. Same thing, uh, the keyboard, uh, there's a website that you can uh, call Keyboard Layout Editor. So you can basically program or print all these buttons, stickers, using your printer and just, you know, glue them or stick them on your keyboard. I uh, hope this will help you as it helped me and wish you good luck.